Alright y'all, in this video we're going to be finishing up our Wooden American Flag build. This is the last um, video, part 6. So sit back, enjoy, and then it will all be over, which will be really sad. But anyway, let's get started. Alright y'all, so here's the American flag. So I have the RFID card inside of my wallet here. And as you can see, this sticker on here is just where people know when and where to uh, scan it at. And then um, they take it off later on. So we're just going to swipe it here. And then once that happens, the door comes down. And um, as you can see here, I have my latch installed, RFID lock inside the door. And I'll go in and show a little more, more details on what I did here. Last video, we put our struts in um, in the hinges, so the door was up. And I was working on it this week. And now I have the lock on place. We also added a few more fancy things. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did. And then, um, yeah, it's going to be fun. So let's get started. Okay, so here's my RFID lock. And next to the lock here is the magazine holder. So this is just meant for a Glock magazine for um, our 40 caliber. And um, as you can see here, I screwed the RFID lock onto the frame here. It's all lined up to the middle of the flag. As I see, it has no problem um, scanning through the wood and of course the cards in my wallet. So that works pretty cool instead of having to keep taking out the cord. Um, so like I said, the Glock magazine holder holds two magazines. And also on Amazon, which should be already here, I ordered is a a magnetic lock. Uh, not a magnetic lock, it's a magnetic holder for a Glock or just a pistol so that you screw this magnetic uh, uh, basically holder to the side of your frame and then your gun just magnetically clips to that. Um, so it's rated up to 45 pounds so it had no problem holding a Glock or any other type of gun so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to install one of those up in the right hand corner when that arrives and then um yeah so just to i wanted to this video just to be basically the finishing touches what i did to the american flag um i'll talk about where the magnet is going to go for the glock in just a minute and then um a few more details about it but i'm real excited about how it's turned out um it was a fun project to build and i mean this is the end so we're coming to the closing of it and so this is just basically uh, showing what I've done with it and uh, how it's turned out. So that up here is the other part of the RFID lock. And as you can see, if I close the, uh, close the door here, Everything closes nice and tight, and um, and it's all flush all across the top here, so you can't tell that this is a door. And then I just scan my card here, and then it lowers itself down, which is pretty cool. Nice and fancy. Um, it turned out nice. Um, the lock, after five seconds, it closes itself back up, so that's nice. And then you just close it. The struts have been nice and tight on here, and... Although it does not push itself out by itself completely, you have to pull it out, but then it will lower itself, and yeah, it turns out good. So, as you can notice, like I did, there we go, it's closed, and then open. And of course, this will be mounted to a wall, and it'll be a lot more smoother motion because I just have this leaning up on my table here. So, I'm real excited about it, and um, yeah, I'll show you where I'm going to mount that magnet for the Glock holder. Alright y'all, so here's a side view of my flag. Here, I'm just going to go through and label, not, well yeah, sort of label, um, what we have here. I have my struts, two on either side, ready to at 4.5 pounds each. Then we have our hinges, I have two of those. And then we have my magazine holder here, and that holds two magazines. We just ripped it up and made it out of some uh, leftover board of this uh, fence here. 
Then I have my RFID lock. My RFID lock has the latch down here. And then as you can see as the door closes, it's, it's all nice and flush and that nice it latches into there. I'll scan it and it opens so there we go. And then of course over here is the other strut and the hinge. Um, I'm going to have, like I said, my magnetic um, gun holder, and that is going to be inserted here. So you can quickly reach in and grab your pistol and a magazine, or if there's already a magazine in your um, pistol, that's good. So quickly accessible um, and no foam to worry about. It's just magnetic clips in there. And if it's magnetic, you can fit any type of gun, and instead of with foam, you'd have to keep uh, cutting it out to fit a gun. With a magnet, you just change it out to whatever gun you want to it doesn't even matter which is pretty awesome so this is all just the left side of the flag not I'm um, yeah right side I'm sorry and the left side of here is completely open for us to do whatever you want if you could put um uh, your more packs of bullets in there more magazines insert some foam and do whatever you want with it so that's pretty cool there's a good space here um, I'm gonna measure it real quick and tell you the exact dimensions of the space the depth and the width and the length of our cavity inside the flag here and then uh, you can get an idea of how much space you actually have inside the flag so I'm overall am real happy about how it turned out it's all nice and flush on the top here and um, this sticker here like I said is just you pulled it off so you know that's just where you know where to scan it and then um, there we go yeah so it's pretty awesome uh, a few things I did do was I add another strip of wood down here where we could um, put this lock in the right spot. Now for mounting the flag to the wall, I'm going to have one more board that comes across from the side to that side where we can screw it up. And then drill two holes on there on 16 inch centers. And then when you mount comes time to mount it to the wall, you just pick it up and line it up to your stud and then screw it in. Pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm real excited at how it all turned out. The uh, blue on our Union, uh, not Union, our Canton turned out good. And then uh, where I spilled that stain on the stripes here, um, it, it's not as bad as it could have been. So it actually is still made it after I sanded it all down. It's a little more smoother than the rest of the side, but it um, I'm, I'm real happy how that turned out and didn't actually ruin all my slats and me having to recut those. So yeah, and, you, and no one else could tell except for the people who've seen me uh, spill the stain. So, um, yeah. Uh, yep, yeah, so my uh, magnet's gonna be inside of here. And then on the door here, we added an extra support strip here because that piece is just like me. So I had three of those in the video to cut that down to center my lo uh, lock inside the um, center of the flag. I cut that down and then we um, glued another support on the door here, right next to the side of it, and I'll show that in just a second. And um, yeah, the door is all structural integrity wise nice, and it took a little while tries to line up the RFID lock, but I got it, and it was good to help with that. I just put the other part of the lock inside the um, other one, just joined those two pieces together, lined it up after I screwed this to the door, and then put some CA glue on the bottom of this to where I could hold it in place while it was tight and then afterwards I screwed it in and that made it a lot easier rather than having to screw it before or afterwards so it's all tight so on most of the flags if you build like these they use those magnetic childproof locks for like the cabinets and doors what I don't like about those is that they rock back and forth about a quarter of an inch maybe more maybe less so those they just install but literally you just could actually just shake it back and forth and just hear it the wood, the wood just smack on that frame and I don't like that um, the way I have mine lined up when it's closed you could pick it up on the door and there's really no um, movement inside the door on the edge here because our magnet uh, I'm sorry our lock is in the middle um, there's a little on the sides but since this is basically invisible to anyone else then there's no reason they would be pulling on the side and the lock itself is strong so you would take a, a lot of force to rip it all off the door. Uh, the hinges and the other stuff will probably uh, break off before the lock actually does or the door actually come apart. So the nice thing about the whole flag is that it's it's concealed, it's a secret. Um, 
Uh, it, when it's up on a wall, no one would know that that's actually your gun safe there. So it's pretty awesome. I love building stuff with secret compartments because you can hide it so many different ways. And, uh, and then now after you hide it, it's just coming up with the newest idea of secret compartments. And I built a clock a while back and I had a drawer. So that's pretty cool. But overall of the whole American flag build, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I it was a fun project to build. Um, it probably took um, if an hour's probably I want to say actually I can't say um, it, it took a while because this was my first one and I kind of just played it out as I went. But if I was going to rebuild one of these and um, I plan on actually make a few more of these in the future and it probably if I had my woodcut probably I would say take me around two days to uh, to build me up into the flag. If I had my woodcut and all that, it would just be assembling it. All my parts were there. So, um, the main time would just be letting the stain dry and how many coach are doing on that. But when it comes to the frame and everything else, that goes pretty quickly. And now that I actually have an idea of what I'm doing, because with this one, like I said, I just played it by ear. So, I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all have any questions, comments, um, I'll be happy to answer those, or if I get them. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you want to see me do more projects like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell. And I'll see you all in the next one. So, until next time.